Welcome to the CAD Office Training Guide Series for F.Civil 3D. Hello, my name is Mike Rocca, and I'm a CAD Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today we'll be going through the F.Civil 3D Drainage Training Guide. In this series of videos, I'll take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today we will start Chapter 7, Alignments and Profile Views of Pipe Networks. Let's get started. In this chapter, we will create alignments using pipe network parts in plan view, then display the pipe network parts in profile views, edit pipe invert elevations, and edit a pipe style. In this chapter, we'll learn about creating alignments from network parts, adding pipe network parts to profile views, editing pipe invert elevations, editing a pipe style. Run the chapter 7.exe file and restore all files to the C Civil 3D Projects folder. Do not change the location in which the practice files are installed. Doing so can cause errors when completing the exercises in this manual. Exercise 7.1 Create an alignment and profile views from network parts. To generate profile views of the network parts, you first create alignments. The next step will show you how to do both from the wizards that are available. First, start the F.Civil 3D State Kit and open DRPRRD01 drawing located in the Chapter Data Set Drainage Folder. From the Home tab on the Create Design panel, Alignments drop down list. Select Create Alignments from Network Parts. When using this command, click the first and last network part, and the command will connect all the network parts in between. From the command line, you are prompted to select First Connected Network Part, Pipe or Structure. Zoom and pan to the area of Structure S1 and select Structure S1. With the selection cycling toggled on, a selection dialog box will display. From the selection dialog box, select structure. From the command line, you are now prompted to select next network part. Zoom and pan to the area of structure S12. Select pipe 6, the outgoing pipe which we refer to as the outfall pipe, where the pipe empties into the proposed drainage pond. Then press Enter. Note structures S1, S2, S3, S4, S13, and S12 in the outfall pipe, pipe 6, from the alignment geometry because they are connected. From the Create Alignment from Pipe Network dialog box, set name to S1. Pipe network name will be automatically created. Set alignment style from the drop down list to no label. Leave all the other settings unchanged. Click OK to close the create alignment from profile from pipe network dialog box. The create profile from service dialog box opens. Set alignment from drop down list to select S1, proposed drainage SR61. Select surface, highlight SR61 final. Click the add button found on the middle right hand side. The profile list populates with the newly defined surface profile content. Click the draw and profile view button at the bottom of the dialog box. This then will launch the create profile view wizard. In the Create Profile View Wizard, visit each panel on the Create Profile View Wizard settings, the values as instructed. Then click the Next button to continue to the next panel of the wizard. The blue links on the left side of the display in the arrow next to the current panel title is what's being displayed in that step. The General panel from the Surface Profile View Style drop-down list, select F. 
40 horizontal by 40 vertical 10x grid on. Then click the next button. Station range panel, leave as default, then click the next button. In the profile view highlights panel, leave all defaults as is and click the next button. For pro profile display options panel, leave as default and click the next button. In the pipes pressure networks panel, this lists the pipes and structures that are to be displayed in the profile view. In the select column, keep all the check box checked. Keep the check the show only parts list selected to draw in profile view box checked. Then click the next button. The data bands panel, from the select band set drop down list, select F.10X vertical exaggerated stations. Then click the next button. The Profile and Hatch Options panel, leave as default, then click the Create Profile Views button. In Model Space, pick a, an insertion point for the S1 Proposed Drainage SR61 Profile View. The insertion point is the lower left corner of the Profile View grid. Place the S1 Proposed Drainage Profile View above the SR61 Profile View. Zoom in to display the S1 Proposed Drainage SR61 Profile View. The SR61 Profile Surface and the Proposed Drainage SR61 Pipe Network Objects for SR Proposed Drainage SR61 Alignments are displayed in the S1 Proposed Drainage SR61 Profile View. Save the file before continuing. Using the previous steps, create an alignment along with the profile view and place them in model space for the following network parts. Save the file after each profile view is displayed. The drawing should look like the image below. Exercise 7.2. Modify the pipe style for F dot, the drainage style. The next steps will show you how to modify the pipe styles for the F dot drainage style. Zoom and pan to display the S1 proposed drainage SR61 profile view. The semicircles that appear next to each structure in the profile view can be turned off in the pipe style. In the S1 Proposed Drainage SR61 Profile View, select Pipe 1. From the Modify panel, Pipes Property dropdown, select Edit Pipe Style. From the Pipe Style F. Drainage dialog box on the Display tab, in the View Directions drop down list, select Profile. Toggle off the Crossing Pipe Inside component. A dark light bulb indicates the component status is off. Click OK to close the pipe style log, the pipe style F dot drainage dialog box. Press escape to clear the, the grips. The pipes have a cleaner appearance where they intersect with the structure in the profile view. Zoom and pan to display all proposed drainage SR profile views. Exercise 7.3. Freeze the image attach underscore DP layer. The next steps will show you how to freeze the DRMPRD01 image attached underscore DP layer. There's an issue you need to address. When working in the DRMPRD01.dwg file, the sit image was unloaded 
and the DRM PRD01 DWG file was saved. Now you have to attach the DRM PRD01 drawing as an XREF and a rectangle now displays in the drawing on the DRM PRD01 image attached underscore DP layer. Zoom extends to display the project. From the Home tab on the Layers panel, select Layer Properties. From the Layers Property Manager tool palette, use the scroll bar to find the DRMPRD01 image attached underscore DP layer. From the freeze column, click on the yellow sun icon to freeze the image attached underscore DP layer, changing the icon to a blue snowflake. Next, close the layers property manager tool palette. The rectangle is no longer displayed and the proposed drainage SR61 pipe networker is ready for review. Save and close the file.